Welcome back. As we've been reporting in recent days, President Biden is navigating some complicated political cross currents when it comes to his unwavering support for Israel. And we've got some new reporting now that Muslim American voters in multiple swing states are threatening to vote against the president next year due to his handling of the situation in Gaza. Muslim Americans voted overwhelmingly for Biden in 2020, and in a close election, margins are everything. I'm joined now by one of the reporters behind that piece, NBC News senior politics reporter Alex Seitzwald. So, Alex, talk us through this new reporting. How concerned should the Biden campaign be about this potential protest or backlash from Muslim and Arab Americans? Yeah, Garrett, I, I think they should be concerned. I mean, you know, obviously we're a year out from the election. Uh, emotions are high. As Joe Biden always says, don't compare him to the almighty, compare him to the other guy. And, and the other guy, probably Donald Trump, is not out there yet. But we have talked to numerous uh, Muslim and Arab American voters in Michigan, Wisconsin, Arizona, Georgia, Minnesota. These states are all familiar to all of us. And to a person, every single one of them have said they are hearing from multiple voters uh, who are saying that they will not vote for Biden, that they're so upset about the way he's handled the Gaza situation. They feel like he's not been uh, giving as much weight to the lives of Palestinian civilians, and they feel left behind and furious. And so the plan from a lot of Muslim American leaders and groups, and these are not just activists, these are elected officials and, you know, turn out the, get out the vote groups. They're saying they will definitely turn out their vote next year, but whether they encourage people to vote for Joe Biden or not remains to be seen. And that could be a huge problem for him in those swing states because they're, you know, these are small portions of the electorate, but margins matter when, when Joe Biden is winning some of these states by 10, 12, 14,000 votes. Uh, a, a big defection from Muslim Arab Americans could really cost him a lot. Well, in the almighty versus the alternative argument, the alternative called for a Muslim ban. I mean, what does this protest look like here? I mean, is it more like folks just staying home or leaving the top line blank or is it too early to say at this point? Yeah, that's exactly right. And they just feel like uh, they, they, of course, are aware of that and they don't want Donald Trump to be president again, but they just also feel like they can't uh, support the current president at the moment. So what this might look like is all those things he laid out, uh, probably not voting for Donald Trump, but possibly voting third party, voting for a write-in candidate, uh, or just leaving the top of the ticket blank. I've heard that there uh, are even ideas of working up a, a voter guide, which a lot of groups put out where they tell you, you know, who they think you should vote for and just not putting anyone uh, for president. And as a, a Georgia state representative I spoke to, she's the first Muslim woman elected to the state rep. She said she feels like she's Palestinian American. She said she feels like she has to choose between protecting her personal safety by voting for Biden because she feels like Trump endangers her personal safety, or she has to uh, sort of endorse what she views as the killing of uh, her family and her extended family in Palestine by supporting Biden. So she just feels like she's in an awful situation. And there's a lot of other uh, Muslim American, Arab Americans who right now feel like they're also torn between two bad options. All right, Alex Seitzwald, thank you for that reporting. And for folks who are interested, please go to NBCNews.com. You can read Alex's whole piece. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.